ਸਤਨਾਮ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਓ ਭੈ ਨਾਸਨ ਦੁਰਮਤ ਹਰਨ ਕਲ ਮੈਂ ਹਰ ਕੋ ਨਾਮ ਨਿਸ ਦਿਨ ਜੋ ਨਾਨਕ ਭਜੈ ਸਫਲ ਹੋ ਹਿਤ ਹਕਾਮ ਸਮਾਰ ਜੀ ਅਗੇਨ ਫਰਸਟ ਆਫ ਵਿਦ ਦ ਵਰਡ ਭੈ ਭੈ something that we went through a few slokes before and pa meaning fear and pa often when it comes up spell in this way with the dulama means all our fears many fears and not referring just to one particular fear pa nasan nasan means when something gets destroyed so saying koi cheez da nash ho jana then pa is saying that pa nasan dur mat haran haran means when something is taken is taken away what is taken away pat is saying durmat durmat can be translated to dur mat dur meaning far mat meaning that wisdom that is far away from the guru's wisdom saying that all of that that durmat that following my mind and not following the guru pa nas and my fears have gone and then that durmat has been taken away for me but how has that happened and at this point we're all probably thinking that'd be great if that can happen for me as well that then pass is that kal mein har ko naam they said in kal kal here means kal yug so meaning referring in this era of kal yug which we'll look at a little bit more later on kal mein har ko naam this is in during this time during this period they said har ko naam the only way is to attach yourself to the name of har to the name of god that's how my fears went and that's how that durmat that mat that wisdom that is so far from my gurus has gone away now nis din jo nanak bhaje this is but there's a condition that says nis din nis means night din means day jo nanak bhaje gur tegh bahadur ji pa saying those that meditate on god's name day and night safal ho hit hai kaam kaam means they work everything they do in life will become safal will be fruitful but it's got to be day and night so sangat ji pa nasan durmat haran kal mein har ko naam so kal mein har ko naam kal yug so what is kal yug what is this era all about it's very important for us to understand because a lot of the times when we think of the four different eras we think the sat yug meaning that only truth was practiced in satyug and everything was about the truth and everyone was in the truth and then we have treta yug and then again that way dharm was standing on four feet was completely stable that righteousness in satyug and then they say that one leg it's like that one leg came away then it's standing on three now but by gurudas ji talk about this and it starts to reduce that truth does but does it mean that there was no evil there was no sin whatsoever during that era of satyug no sangat ji that's not what it means it means that predominantly truth was practiced but there were still people during that era and during that time where they were indulged in falsehood and was influenced by their ego and home but most people majority people was on the path of truth and it was easier that way there was less influences and what started happening as time continued then kalyug is that time now is where what is predominant now is ignorance where p- people are completely lost and on on that path of righteousness and on on the path of truth but it doesn't mean there's nobody on the path of truth it doesn't mean that there's nobody that has hasn't realized their soul because they there are in kal yug paachi says kal mein har ko naam but the only way to survive now because no matter where we look everyone is on fire everyone is burning and it's become so difficult now we know ourselves constantly we've got this social media we've got these phones and our brains are being completely fried it doesn't matter what direction we look in and there is that competition going on whether it be people are trying to get the next better car or have it or status or trying to get 
certain positions at workplace and everyone is on fire. So now we need something more constant. It can't be a one-off thing where once a month we go out and do some nice charitable work and go in and then that'll that'll be sorted. We'll, we'll be all right for a month or so or a couple of months. But now we need something that is going to be nis din. It's going to be day and night. So Pach has given us naam. But in which form is Guru Sahib Ji talking about giving us naam in? How do we awaken ourselves with naam every moment? Because we all know that there's many of us probably that do make the attempt to say Vaheguru, 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 Vaheguru constantly. And we're trying to even say it with each breath. But, but we know that even during saying that, we still might lose our temper. We still might get taken away by growth completely. Whilst we're saying these words, whilst we're saying Vaheguru, 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 we still might be burning in desires and wanting that next best product. But we're still saying Vaheguru. And what did Guru Sahib Ji say about this? Guru Sahib Ji says, Ram, Ram, Sab, Ko, Kaha. This is everybody might be saying the word Ram. It's just saying it though. Remember, there's a huge difference. A lot of the times we'll just say, Vaheguru, 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 and we'll say, it's not working. You know what? It's not done nothing for me. I don't feel any happier. I don't feel any more connected. Because Guru Sahib Ji said, it depends on how you said it. This is Ram, Ram, Sab, Ko, Kaha. They're saying, don't expect by just merely saying it and that you're going to become Ram, that you're going to become God. Because on the other side, you've got Guru Sahib, Guru Ram Das Ji, Pacha Ji telling us, Jena har japaya, se har hoye. And we're thinking, well, Mata japaya, that I did this thing called Jap, but I've not become Hari. That's because we've misunderstood what Jap means and we actually haven't done Jap and we were just saying it. There was a huge difference. Because in just saying it, Ram, Ram, Sab, Ko, Kahe, Kahe, Ram, Na, Hue. This is, but, Gur, Prasadi, but with His grace, because we have no power over it, Gur, Prasadi, Ram, Man, Vase. But when actual Ram starts to go deep inside of us and reside deep into our core, into our heart, then, Taan, Fal, Paave, Koi. Then you will get that fall of what Guru Ram Das Ji Paat is saying of Jin Har Jappya Se Har Hoi. You'll actually become Hari. You'll actually become God when you are just jumping. And I know that might sound a bit strange to say become God. But that's what Guru Sahib Ji is saying. Jin Har Jappya Se Har Hoi. They become Har themselves. So what was the difference here? It's to escape in this Kalyug that when Paat Ji is saying to us Pa Nasan Durmat Haran Kalme Har Ko Naam Nis din jo nanak pajay safal ho hai teh kaam. Vaheguru ji ka khalsa, Vaheguru ji ki fateh.